Well, Max, uh, congratulations on the win. Outside of the bruised forehead, uh, what are your initial thoughts on your victory? Man, uh, big man to be in there, and he's looking across the cage and making his face and um, experience. What a good win. I heard him a few times, dropped him a couple times. Uh, man, it was, it, was, uh, it was surreal, you know, being in there and... I got the job done. You came out pretty aggressive right out of the gate. Started attacking his lead leg, just kind of just go putting your foot to the pedal like immediately. Was that the game plan, or did you just get caught up in the moment? Anymore? No, it was to put it on him, brush him back, uh, take out his legs. He's real flat footed. We knew those calf kicks and those leg kicks would be there every day of the week. Were they were there, and um, you know, kind of set the tone. He's a guy that kind of likes to start slow, but he he starts up and. He fights with weird angles, and you can't let him move forward on you. You can't let him put it on you. So you got to put it on him, just so he knew. Like, I heard him too. So just so he didn't just run up on me like that. At any point in the fight, did your aggression right out of the gate kind of catch up to you? Like, maybe you had some sort of adrenaline dump in rounds two or did the cardio? No, I mean, I was kind of looking. I mean, it may have appeared like that, but it was more to see. Um, you know, start him off hurt with his legs and just put the pace on. And once I did that, then it was kind of more seeing what he's doing. And I was kind of getting more comfortable in there. Um, my coach said I was faster than him. You're faster than him, son. So now I was just kind of seeing what's going on, taking my time, you know. And then you had made it known you. You were a fan of Carlos before you got into the UFC. And I had asked you, was there any, would there be a moment in there where you were fighting him and you're like, oh, I've seen this. I've seen this before. Did that moment happened. It was pretty cool. When he, those little lean, those little leaner kicks and stuff. I'm trying to find him. I'm trying to get a picture with him, you know? They said he left, but I'm trying to get a picture with him. I'm such a fan. Like, I'm such a fan of his. I really, you know, it was amazing. I had to turn it all off, though. Like I said, I had to turn every bit of it off. But now I beat him. Hey, let's, you know, I'm trying to take a picture with that man. Finally, uh, is there any names you want next? Or when, you, when would you like to return? To I want a vacation. Like... I've been training so hard for so long, and you know I'm on a three-fight win streak. Great wins. Um, Team Mobile Arena, you know UFC 264. I want to go relax. I've been pedal to the metal for some time now, so I just want to. I'm not saying I want to break. I just want to take a vacation, fight at the end of the year. Hey Max, over here. When I was watching that first round, one of the ones that I was uh, reminiscent of. The fight with Tyron Woodley and Carlos Condit was that kind of where you picked up a bit of the strategy because I felt like it just looked very similar and I'm like I think that's his game plan. To be honest, I did not watch one second of tape on him. I let my coach um, Jim West. He did most of the studying. Same with Justin Ewan, Mary Noble. They do all the stuff. Like I said, I didn't watch one second of tape. They told me what he was gonna do and I did it. So you could ask Jim. I mean, you know, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and then secondly, you know, you talked about the whole experience of everything. You beat a guy like Carlos Condit on the undercard of, you know, Connor and Poirier. When you wake up tomorrow, are you going to believe it all happened or you think you just dreamed it? I'm not going to bed tonight, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Max, over here to your right. What up, bro? How's it going, man? Good to see you. You too, bro. So I know in your last fight, your coach and you had kind of started to think, what am I going to do to kind of start improving my performances and, you know, be the best Max Griffin I can be? And you really did impress people in that last fight. And I know we talked about it and you really started to kind of just throw and not worry and just like, you know, let everything kind of manifest. What was your mindset coming into this fight? I know this was a legendary fighter, but I know you had to feel the pressure to keep on being the new Max 2.0 in this fight. You know, I felt like I was, even though I didn't get the finish. You know, I went 15 minutes with, you know, former world champion. I had some good moments. Um, everything I did worked. Um, I wanted to finish him. I did hurt him a few times, dropped him, almost got him out, almost got him out of there. But um, it's good experience too to be in be in there with someone that that's that 
that is that good, who's fought the GSPs, who's fought the Woodleys, who's fought the Nick Diaz, this is a guy that's that's beat up a bunch of these guys. For me to be in there with them and not get beat up, I mean, he scratched up my forehead, but um, that's it. Yeah, he was absolutely motivated to win here. Would have been big for him, and it looked like he was fighting to do everything he could, and you just were denying him pretty much around yeah, every corner. Yeah, no, my, my, one of my best friends, Josh Zufelt, called me today, and he said, Max, um, he knows you're going to try to come kill him. So he's going to give everything he has to beat you, everything. Um, he had a chip on his shoulder at the weigh-in. People said he was looking. He was... He has something to prove, yeah. you know, and um, I got the job done. Last question for me. Some people were noticing that you seem to be pretty friendly with him during fight week and the weigh-ins. And I heard some people saying, man, I don't know if Max wants to do this because then it's going to let Carlos feel all comfortable and do his thing. Did you feel like there was anything to it? Like, did you deliberately try to be friendly or was it just because you were a fan of his for so many years? And, and do you feel it would have had any different outcome if you would have tried to get aggressive uh, with him and mad dog him and anything in the in, during fight week? I wouldn't say I was being friendly um, backstage when we were lining up for weigh-ins to weigh in. I didn't say shit to him, and he was in front of me. He turned around and gave me dabs. He said, oh, you know, he, he was friendly with me. Okay. He said, what's up? You know, let's do this. Gave me fucking dabs. And then when we uh, got on stage, it was all business. Yeah, there was no friends there. He he was looking at me. I was looking at him, staring right in his face. He looked at that picture, and he even tried to mug me as he walked to the side, and I was on his ass. Yeah, we weren't friendly. No, gotcha. And we weren't friendly. Absolutely. Well, very impressed, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Max, to your right, it wasn't this. Congrats on the win. Thank you, bro. You fought a living legend. It wasn't necessarily a walk in the park. What did Carlos do that got, you know, your forehead messed up? But what was the, you're like, man, I got to watch that tape. He got me on this one. What My stuff is takedown. He tried to get me at the end. Um, he, like, caught one of my kicks, maybe, or got it on a leg. And he could have tried to steal that around with the takedown. But I got out of that. You know, it was close. I think that was a little momentum turner when he did try to shoot that takedown. But I used my agility and got out of that. Um, I don't know what really happened to my forehead. My arm hurts. I blocked a ton of kicks on my arm. I could barely even open my hand right now. But better on my arm. Then on my head, I'll tell you that. Your team probably did the research, of course. You mentioned not watching fights, but the leg kicks were there all night. He didn't <coughs> check anything. Was that a little strategy? Because you had him open for the 15 minutes. Yeah, uh, my teammates actually told me to stop calf kicking them and stop leg kicking. I'm like, Max, can you stop calf kicking us? Can you stop leg kicking us? Um, you know, Jim told me he's so flat footed and the kicks will be there every day of the week there they were there in the leap year you know they were every day congrats thank you sir thank you